There is simply too much SpongeBob. Y'all need to stop. Now don't get me wrong, I love Spongebob. It's one of the best written, funniest, most quotable shows of all time. And honestly, it might be the best thing ever created. Right under Toaster Strudels, obviously. And Spongebob himself as a character has become one of the most iconic figures of modern media. With the likes of Bugs Bunny and Mickey Mouse and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I love Spongebob, it's great. But you guys still need to stop with all the Spongebob stuff, like it's getting out of hand. Three shows! There are three Spongebob shows on Nickelodeon right now, running at the exact same time. The original Spongebob, the Patrick Star Show, Camp Coral, and only one of them is even good. I bet you can guess which one. Yeah, you gotta ride the Patrick Star Show, let's go! No, but seriously, these reboots are getting out of hand. They're making a Sandy Squirrel spinoff movie, a Squidward spinoff movie, they already made two spinoff shows, they made a third Spongebob movie, and it's terrible. See, it would be different if this was made in the golden age of Spongebob. Like, if this stuff was still good, I wouldn't really mind it as much. It would be still oversaturation, but at least it would be good content. But the stuff they're making, they're just pumping it out for money. Like, none of this stuff is even good and it completely lost the spirit of the original Spongebob and what makes it so good. Now the original Spongebob show in itself has kind of had a decline over the years, but the new episodes aren't terrible, you know, they still kind of have the spirit. But it's other stuff is just unnecessary and honestly just doesn't capture what makes Spongebob a good show to begin with and a good product. And the most disappointing thing to me is the most recent Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run. The first Spongebob movie is my favorite movie, and I stand by that completely. It's an amazing experience. I sound so pretentious right now, man. You don't even know. But seriously though, it's an amazing movie. It's so quotable. It has an amazing soundtrack, great animation, a great story. Honestly, it's pretty heavy at points. The second one that came out in 2015 is also great. They even brought back Steven Hillenburg after him being gone for years for this movie. I love the absurdist humor of this one. It fits the Spongebob style super well. The 3D animation when they go up to the surface isn't even bad like I expected it to. And the soundtrack was made of one of my favorite bands of all time, so obviously I love that. So you got two extremely good Spongebob movies. The third has a charm, right? Well, no. The third one sucks. This movie leaked in November of 2020 and I watched it and I was like so disappointed. This is just straight up not Spongebob. It's like corporate Nickelodeon making all of this. When I watch Spongebob, the original show, I picture a bunch of talented and hilarious people making something they actually love. When I watch this movie, I just imagine a bunch of suits pumping something out even if it's garbage. None of the jokes are funny, the soundtrack sucks, and as I clearly established, the soundtrack is a very important thing to every movie. The characters are completely out of character, the animation isn't really that good, the story is unoriginal and terrible, and they spend the last 30 minutes of the movie just hyping up Camp Coral. Like literally, 20% of this movie's runtime is dedicated to basically advertising for another spinoff. And the worst thing about all these reboots is Steven Hillenburg, the original creator of Spongebob, clearly said he didn't want any reboots to be made, and right after he died, they announced a whole bunch of them. So it's clear they don't even respect his original vision. But yeah, I'll always love the original Spongebob episodes, but this just ain't it. That's enough out of me, goodbye.